Hey, it's Dawn. I've got a 12 by 12 canvas. My colors in reds and black and four little Dixie cups so I can do a four dirty flip cup pour. But first, I've got to mix all my paints in these little cups. And that is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to speed this up and I will be right back. I just decided as I was pouring these paints that I want some silver gray in the mix. So I'm just going to take a few moments, grab my silver paint, and mix it up right on camera. It's the Artist Law Silver. It's a metallic. It also adds a little bit of a sparkle factor to the painting, so that's always nice. I'm going to grab a popsicle stick here. And I'm going to grab the flow trowel. I'm going to show you a little something on the flow trowel. Have you ever had lumpy flow trowel or got flow trowel boogers in your painting? Yeah, I got some pantyhose um, attached to the top of the bottle with just an elastic. And it keeps any lumps in the bottle and off your painting. So that's my public service announcement for today. So I have found with this Artist Loft Silver, when I'm mixing it with Floetrol and a little bit of water, that you have to mix it a lot in order to get rid of the grainy streaks in it. I don't know why it does that. Actually, most of the Artist Loft metallics tend to do that, so you have to stir them up really, really, really well. And this is not very dark, so I'm going to add some black to it. So it's more of a medium silver gray instead of a pale silver gray. And I have found in the past that this silver takes a lot of other darker pigmented paint to darken it. So I'm adding some more black here and hopefully we'll get the shade I want. Because we've already got white for contrast in the cups. We don't need a pale silver. I think a medium gray silver would be really nice. And I think I'm just going to Put it all in this layer like I did with the white and the orange. Just one layer of each. Used up all the paint I mixed of those colors already. So there we go. A nice medium silver gray. And all I have left is, I believe, the Cadmium Red Deep. It's Liquitex Basics. And then the Mars Black. Now the other red I've already used is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Red. And it tends to have a little bit of a pinkish hue, especially if it hits some white in the flip cup. So I tried to keep it away from the white in the flip cup. So I don't really want a lot of pink in this painting. It's going to be a dark painting because of all the black that we're using. But I like the cadmium red because it's more of a true red and it doesn't pull as pink when it gets mixed with white. And I put a half a shot of coconut milk serum, half a shot, half a squirt in both the black and the white paints, but not in any of the other paints. I want some cells, but I don't want, you know, mega cells or anyways. I'm hoping it's enough to get some good cell action without being overboard. Okay. All I have is this red left, the cadmium red. I'll just kind of split it over the four cups. Now I don't often do multiple flip cups and I'm not really sure if I should do them from the top or the bottom or one in each quarter. I have found in the past that if you Kind of do one in each quarter, sometimes you lose a lot more 
when you tilt. So maybe we'll just put them at one end so we can just tilt them one way. But do we tilt top to bottom or bottom to top? I think we're going to try them this way. We'll put them at the top and go down. I think. Um. <laughs> or do we want to go this way with them? I don't know. Let's just get them flipped. Oh, that was messy. I am not the most coordinated person when it comes to doing this. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's just get them upside down. There we go. Ooh. That is... That's some really striking color combinations there. And do you see the cells popping up already? Wow, that's a lot of paint on a small canvas. That's all right, though. I'll try to get as much out of these cups as we can, and then we're going to tilt this canvas and see what we can come up with. But I like the color combination I see now, so I'm hoping it'll be that spectacular and vibrant when we're all done. I do see a little bit of pink and it's not offending me, <laughs> but I don't want to see a whole lot more pink in the finished product. So I'm just going to tilt slowly kind of get the canvas mostly covered before we tip and do the corners. Try to do them slowly so we don't run off too much paint all at once. And this is hard for me to do because I am not generally a very patient person. I just want that paint to move. But anyway, we'll go slow, get the corners done and then use the weight of the paint to tip it away back to the middle again and hopefully not lose too, too much in the process. At least not until we want to. And this is why I usually speed up the tilting in my videos because it's kind of slow but this isn't a huge canvas so and there was a lot of paint on it so it's not going to be that long i do like how this is turning out even even with the pink that i was hoping i wouldn't get too much of it's really quite striking so yay <laughs> I do love the randomness of acrylic pour painting because sometimes you don't know what you're going to get and often it's something beautiful although sometimes we get a dud especially if you get paints that went muddy on you not fun but you live and learn and you experiment and if you have a pour you don't like, you can always pour over it again later. There, I really like that. I'm just going to kind of shift the heaviness of the paint back towards the middle. Yeah. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to set that down for now. And then I'm going to come back with a close-up in just a moment. And here I am back with the close-up. Do you see all those cells? There's little ones and medium-sized ones and big ones and cells within cells. And the color combination I am just in love with. The reds, the orange, the pink, the black, the white. This one is very pleasing to the eye, I think. I like what was happening in that corner. Let me come down here and actually there's some really bright pink spots in there. And I'm glad I put the silver in. It just added that little extra something. So, yeah, I really, really like this. Just 
Wow. And now here's a still so you can get a really good look at the finished product. Thank you so much for watching today. Please hit subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. And if you're looking for me, well, check the channel art up top. There's a bunch of links up there. Or you can just go to www.indigobohemianart.com. And before you go, would you mind clicking like? Because, you know, every time you click like, um, you save a baby unicorn. Yeah, that's why. No, it encourages me. And it's nice to know that people are watching and liking what I do. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.